Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to be testing out a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti and specifically this is the EVGA hybrid version, okay? SC2 hybrid gaming edition card with 11 gigabytes of VRAM, okay, of GDDR5X and this card specifically has Micron memory, okay? So, I want to thank, first of all, my Discord mod named Boris for letting me remote into his rig and testing this card. We're going to be doing one test today on each different algorithm. And as you can see, I have stock hash rates already using the stock overclock. And then the test that we're going to do on each card is overclock 1, which will be 75% power limit, plus 100 core, and plus 800 memory for the rest of the algorithms. We were able to test a bunch of different numbers and stuff and I found that this was the best. I did try to do 50 power limit, it just was not good. Not really efficient at all. It, it dropped a lot of hash rate, but it also dropped a bit of power consumption as well, but it didn't make sense in comparison to 75% power limit. So this will be uh, the best efficiency. So, the coins that we will be mining and if you guys don't want to watch the rest of this video, feel free to look down below and I have all of the hash rate numbers and power consumptions in the description. So feel free to look at that and smash the like button on the way out. So we're going to test Ethereum, Ravencoin, Vertcoin, Aeon, uh, Ciro, Bitcoin Gold, Rio or Rio, uh, Grin29, Grin31, Beam, AETernity, Zero, Swap, Zellcash, Zcoin, and Bitem. Okay, so we're going to get the hash rates for all these coins for the overclock one setting. Let's get started. We're going to do Ethereum first. So you guys can see here we are going to use the dash strap number six. Okay, so this strap is supposed to be really good on this 1080 Ti. So let's go ahead and start that. And I just want to explain that sometimes you guys may have seen uh, the core in the negatives, but for GDDR5X memory, it needs a bit of core in order to do well, okay? You guys can see that the strap 6 was applied successfully, and now we are going to get, but we should be getting about 54 mega hashes, yes. 54 mega hash at about 187 watts. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> really good, actually. GPU-Z shows 184 watts. Okay, so yeah, 187 watts. I'm just going to say whatever Claymore is showing. Okay, so that is the Ethereum overclock. Now let's go to the next one. Ravencoin, you guys may have noticed I already put in the uh, testing for that because I did it on a one-hour average. I didn't want to do it in this video because it would just take too long. Uh, so I did an off video and you can see here stock we're getting 26.84 mega hash at 245 watts and overclock 2 we were able to get about uh, 32.19 at 188 watts on a one hour average. Okay, so really, really a much more efficient on 75% power limit. Okay, so now we're going to do Vertcoin. Let's just see here. So on Vertcoin on stock we were getting 56.4 and at 235 watts and now at 75% power limit we are getting 54.91 54.91 mega hash at 186 watts. Okay. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, next coin we're going to do Aeon using G minor. Good old G minor. And stock, we were getting 348 souls per second at 248 watts. And on Aeon, we are going to get, my prediction will probably be about, I think, 360, maybe less, 340, 330. Yeah, so we're getting about 353 souls, 353 souls at 187 watts. Pretty big, pretty big. Okay, next coin, guys. Let's do zero. So zero, we're going to be using NB minor, and this is the prog pow algorithm. So this will give or take C, give us some numbers, a little bit of numbers on prog pow. I'm not sure if this is the same implementation for uh, Ethereum, but 
maybe it might give us an idea. So stock we're getting 22 mega hashes at 248 watts and now on 75% power limit 22.96 okay so we went up a little bit and also saved a bit of power consumption uh, 186 watts yeah not too bad pretty good okay now next coin we're gonna use uh, Bitcoin gold using G minor so this is the BTG algorithm Z hash and initially stock we're getting 94.1 souls per second at 248 watts and on overclock one we are going to get 90.6 souls okay not too bad at 187 watts okay that's pretty high actually okay so next coin we're gonna do is Rio or Rio currency going to start up it up here so stock we're getting uh, 2114.9 hash hashes per second at 248 watts Okay, and now at 75 power limit, we are getting 2,000. Look at that, 2,000 hashes per second. That's pretty good. At 190, looks like 190, 188 watts. Yeah, 188 watts. Okay, so that is Ryo. And now, next coin, we're going to do Grin29 on NB Miner. So let's open that up here. Okay, so stock we're getting 8.03 gas per second at 248 watts. Now on the 75% power limit we are getting around 8.01 gas per second. 8.01 gas per second at 147, 56 watts. Wow, pretty. Oh no, 188. Yeah, 184. Uh, still up in the 180s. Okay, so that was Grin29. Next one we're going to do is Grin31. And stock we're getting 1.45 graphs per second at 245 watts. Now on 75% power limit we are getting 1.38 graphs per second. 1.83 graphs per second at 180... Oh, the hash rates, the wattage is jumping over. So it's going to be about 180 watts 137 to 1.38 graphs per second okay not too bad uh, now let's do beam okay we're gonna mine some beam here using G minor so on stock we were getting 54.1 souls per second at 248 watts and now we're getting at 75 percent power limit is 51.6 souls at 185 watts not too bad. Beam is one of those profitable coins right now, uh, so that's probably really that's probably really good. All right, so that's Beam. Next one, we're gonna do A Eternity. So we're getting 7.77 graphs per second at 208 watts, and let's see here. On 75% power limit, we are getting 7.61 graphs per second at 164 watts not too bad not too bad it looks like it lowered it quite a bit okay so next up we're gonna do zero using G minor uh, there it is hope you guys are enjoying these hash rates obviously the profitability changes all the time and I think I looked at it the profitability on a 1080 Ti is uh, Grin 31 Kakatu 31 so uh, take that as you will, but that will probably change in the next week, like always. Okay, so on zero, we're getting 51 souls per second at a 250 watts. On the 75% power limit, we will be getting 49. 49.2 49.2 souls per second at 186 watts. Not too shabby for zero. Okay, next up is swap for you swap miners out there. Let's see here. So we we're getting initially 7.81 graphs per second at 203 watts. I'm going to assume we're going to get uh, around the same, if not a little bit less. 7.67 graphs per second. Yeah, so not that much of a loss, but we definitely lowered the power consumption a bit to 165 watts. Okay. 
Next up is Zelcash using G minor. So initially we're getting 53.6 souls at 242 watts and we shall see here on 75% power limit it will be 48. Okay, so 48.9 souls at 179 watts. 48.9 souls at 179 watts. Okay, so that's Zelcash, my friends. Next coin we're going to do is Z coin. Now, this coin is also one of those profitable coins. So initially, we're getting 3.9 mega hash at 247 watts. And now on the overclock one, we shall get. So according to the web-based version of T-Rex, we can see here we're getting about 3.6 mega hash at 192 watts. Okay, so not too shabby. Uh, 3.6 mega hash at one. What did I say? 192 watts. Okay, next up we're gonna do bite him. This will be the last coin, my friends. And let's see here. So we were getting 4,000 hashes at 248 watts. And I don't know if many of you mine bite them, but this used to be a profitable coin back in the day. And let's see here. Refresh this. We are getting now 3,739 3, hashes at uh, 120, oh, 152 watts. Okay. Uh, 3739 hashes per second at 150 watts. Uh, 160 watts. Okay. All right. So that's that's good. Good old bite em. I don't think anyone's mining bite em right now. But there we go, my friends. Here are the hash rates for this beautiful card here. The Hybrid Edition 1080 Ti from EVGA. And I want to thank Boris for letting me remote into this rig and testing all of these algorithms. Now, I did do a test showing which on what to mine is most profitable, and I think it is the Grin 31, okay? So at around 3, 1.38 grass per second at 180 watts, uh, Grin 31 at the moment is the most profitable coin. Uh, I think that's because the memory requirement for Grin 31 is above 10 gigabytes. So the 11 gigabyte, gigabyte VRAM on the 1080 Ti is uh, just perfect for Grin 31. And yeah, 8 gigabyte cards are not able to mine on C31. So anyways guys, let me know what you think in the video. All the hash rates are in the description and power consumption. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you Boris for letting me remote in yet again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.